Poor Kay. He's so distraught about this. That's it! That's all we got! That was like the reporting in scene! Jeez, that was kind of a downer. Let's see what our next step is. We gotta return to Gren for his quest that we did last time. And we are also ready to uh, level up a few of our characters in the personal bonds. Most notably, I want to level up um, Winter here for the fine trinkets. That's gonna be pretty good. As well as real. You know, I wasn't really expecting for you to come here. Are you alright? Part of me saying so, but that's completely out of character for you. Also, who's that hiding behind the counter? There's something right there. <laughs> it so happens I'm the most elated of moods today. I have managed to secure a particularly profitable project, all without paying a single dialog of the usual tariffs. A project, you say? Nothing to be worried about, I assure you. Let's just celebrate the good times a bit, hmm? I'm going to cross my fingers that it didn't involve any illicitly gained goods this time. Not at all. I'm a firm believer of transparency, the merchant of coherence, cohesion, co... Uh, co... Um, wait, what was that third word? Combustion! I didn't like that. Really? Sorry, I tried. Anyway, I disagree strongly. Your uh, statement about my recreational habits is factually incorrect. In fact, I visit this place on a regular basis, eager to foster friendship among fellow businessmen. Okay. I come here all the time. Oh, it was Grelka. Or Lilka, rather. I'm pretty sure it's the first time I've seen you here. No matter. Back on track, say it must be a pretty huge occasion for you to break into casual leisure. Not an everyday reason, right? That alone makes it extremely interesting. So yeah, tell me about the project. No! Huh? That's quite an outburst for an in innocuous request like that, don't you think? No! And yet you just say you were a believer of transparency. Transparency! <laughs> He's hiding something. Don't ask me again! <laughs> Mister, is he always like this? Believe me, I'm as confused as you are right now. So, are you going to do something about it, or...? What? You want me to chase after him or something? Uh. Sure, maybe? I'm just saying. Ah. <sighs> Let's go. Tell me about that project. Sweet porcine Akuyuta, did I walk into that one? The end was a mistake. How soon, you sexy idiot. Now, where did I put the manifest? You don't need to hide anything from me. Oh, Master Lauren! I'm not hiding anything, I'm not! Business as usual, look at his face, look at it! Would it lie to you? Uh, that is not the face of a... I mean, don't judge by the... Color of the book, I was gonna say, the... Cover of the book! You're lying right now! Ugh, this is a mess! A tumbleweed of misunderstandings, I shouldn't have yapped so much! But this also isn't what it looks like, Master Lauren! I swear in my turtle, my trade, and my family. Not necessarily in that order, though. That doesn't mean much, does it? By the blistering bladders of baleful baboons, it does! Okay. Alright, I'll leave it be for now. Seriously, Luxon, whatever it is you're doing... Merchant's honor, it won't influence you negatively in any way. So you are doing something shady after all. <laughs> We're probably gonna hear more about that on our next level, but we level him up and we should be uh, almost ready to get confidant, but we can now buy uncommon resources in his shop, which is awesome. 
We could go for winter now, I think. Yay! Let's do it. Oh, we're dungeon delving. Would you just tell me why we're here? You'll see. Now, where was it? Ah, there. See, I was taking a stroll here not so long ago, and I was thinking of how the guys back home were missing a player for their bridge nights, and then... Let's just say I have a very special someone to introduce to you. Is it, is it a rock? No peeking. Uh, it's going to be a rock, isn't it? There it is! Aha! Well, what do you think? You squint hard, but it's almost certainly still a huge chunk of, chunk of granite. It's cute. I like that. Rock solid! I'm glad you like him! I'd even say I really dig it! Haha! <laughs> so yeah, you don't have to be shy, hug him! Um... Uh, you're kind of weirding me out now. A new buddy for my guys back home. They say it couldn't get any better. Oh wait, it totally could! Astonishing! We're in a cave! Okay... Yes, we are. Well, great! Nothing bonds people like some field work, right? Let's go look for more rocks together! Sure, why not? Up and away then, let's rock! I love her puns though. And so barraged by avalanches of puns, you spend the day digging with winter. I can dig it. Huzzah! Winter is now a friend. Let's check out her stock now that we can do um, rare trinkets. Hi there! Probably can't afford much. Well, let's check it out. Uh, fine. But these are a new things. Golem leggings. Jewel of Maga. It seems to be a lot of resistance stuff. Initiative. Ooh, that is purple! I like purples. Negative. Alright. Let's not craft any of those. I don't have anything to spare. I think we're gonna head out to a dungeon now. Or maybe do another kingdom quest, which is ideally the same thing, because we need kingdom quests to uh, secure the next chapter. So, let's see what we have available. We do have a few undangerous ones that I could do. Uh, and by a few, I mean one. <laughs> let's go to the Carmine Basin. Oh, that is lovely looking. Like hot springs. Let's start with the Mushroom Samba. You stumble upon a carpet of glowing bearded mushrooms. Unable to identify them, you ponder your next move. Collect them for later use. I got some resilience tonics. Nice. Alright, let's do some combat. Defeat the troll! He's probably gonna... I mean... We should probably take care of these as well. So we gotta put one person there. I'm thinking Theo. And maybe put him in front? Actually, with Gren, I could probably like stun lock the troll if I want to. And then we'll put you over there along with K. And I think that should be okay. I want to suck your blood! Is that okay? Garlands of rainbow cloth sprout from the ground, forming garish coils between clusters of worn out tents. If you didn't know any better, you'd think you had stumbled upon some seedy backdoor festivities, but nope. It's just a posse of traveling wizards from Shadu. Devoid of tenure, accolades, and common sense, these hard-working individuals scout the world restlessly. 
providing the populace with inexpensive arcane services whenever their new mood strikes them. Approach, of course. The camp is relatively quiet given the time of day. Aside from a curious commoner or two, business appears to be rather slow. A quick scan reveals what looks like a potion brewer's tent, a painfully stereotypical fortune-telling parlor, and some kind of big circular leather pavilion. Though its purpose remains unclear, you're pretty sure you can hear numerous voices coming from inside. I mean, mystery, pavilion. The pavilion houses a round council room with dozens of makeshift chairs scattered around a slightly elevated speaking platform. It is used to house debates, lectures? Both would seem likely, especially since some kind of symposium appears to be already underway. We can count around 13 people, all of them listening to some loud gentleman. Approach, why not? Might learn something! While you've obviously gathered only scraps and parts of the discussion, you get the distinct impression that the high-strung speaker has a hard time getting through to his audience. Regardless of his views, there is virtually no understanding between him and the crowd. Those who listen disagree, those who don't, don't care. For whatever reason, this seems to upset him greatly, and every opposition hits him hard on a personal level. It's almost like he has two modes of speech, shifting constantly between forceful preaching and nervous begging. No, I reinforce my points. We are but modes of mana, specks of a god soul, recyclable material no different than the air we breathe. He exclaimed several no similar notions in a squalling, expedious manner. We are the very stuff of magic. Our lives are no more and no less than anything, everything else that surrounds us. What does that mean for the concept of death? Without dwelling on the subject of gods, given what we know, it is safe to say that all life is mana. Hence no afterlife exists. How can you not see that? Nonsense and hubbub. I mean, it's a nice sentiment, yes, very poetic. And no doubt, several comparable conclusions can be extrapolated from what we know. But that's a very broad assumption either way, isn't it? How can you be so sure, especially since you have no tangible proof? No proof? But the prevailing opinion of the academic, academic community? In any case, the current state of thaumaturgy enables us to trace the primordial emanations back to which only proves that, at best, we know that something happened, creating the foundation for our arts. The whole argument about a dead primordial transfiguring into the body of what we know as magic is the basis of all magical theory, and I never intend to reject that notion. What I mean is to say is, nothing in that narrative validates your broad color for statements about the nature of souls and afterlife, isn't that right? It looks like he's about to break down in tears. Side with the speaker. Th thank you. To dismiss that notion is as implausible as to willfully embrace ignorance. The speaker seems emboldened by your support, and the sooner we acknowledge the truth, the sooner we will be able to act upon it. The old man grimaces disparagingly. His gaze appears intense enough to drill holes in your skull. He certainly does not seem willing to discuss things further in your presence. Well, we got 100 XP. Thank you. And that is that dungeon complete. Oh, we leveled up. Amazing. Let's see what level we are now. 15! We might have gotten a double kingdom quest right there. That's quite good. So we got the dungeoneering quest and we got the level 15 quest. Sweet. All right, let's head back to town, I would imagine. And head towards Winter! Who is ready for a quest or two? Winter is ne in need of a upgrade. So is Real. Aksun, you might be ready for our next quest. Let's report in. Gramercy, kind sir. I'm so glad you were willing to make generous investments into my humble shop. Trust flourishes under your enlightened guidance. Okay. That said, I also hope you will be making a quick enough visit. I have a plethora of dazzling goods all prepared just for you, my lord. I'll check it out, maybe? Music to my ears, even despite the uncertainty. 
Sell high, buy low. Good day, and may your spendings remain high. Eh. I don't understand that guy. Ahem. Yeah, just so you know, he's doing his little side project thing again. Trogan's Pass, I think? It's supposed to be near the border with Shadu. He's uh, expecting an ex exchange there. What with whom, I don't know. What? <laughs> I know this because being a useless background drunk is paying its dividends. Why didn't you say anything earlier? Eh, what for? Besides, it's not like I'm actively eavesdropping on people, you know? At least not every day. Alright, I'll check out Trogan's Pass.